Oh, well, oh, hey there, friends. Don't mind me as I'm enjoying the vibe of this new city. My name is W.E. De Cruz. I'm an award-winning tech and food entrepreneur as well as international consultant. And most importantly, I'm a wife and mother of three children. My children may pop into this recording unannounced, but hey, it's expected. The show will continue. So welcome to the Digital Diplomat Podcast, where you learn to impact locally and build globally through digitalization. Listen, if you're on a mission to solve local and global problems like myself, affecting your life and the life of your loved ones. If you're a civil citizen, civil servant, tired of dealing with the same issues plastered across news channels and are ready to take action. If you know your life is bigger than the box, someone has put you in or you put yourself in and have a desire in our heart to do international work, then this podcast is for you. We know that across all industries, digitalization is offered unprecedented opportunities for innovation as well as challenges from the workplace to government. Business as usual is rapidly evolving and so should the people, the policies, and the processes that affect each and every one of us. So join me as I take you on an adventure of a lifetime to interview global leaders and organizers, business owners, but most importantly, civil servants on topics like technology, globalization, entrepreneurship, exporting, capacity building, and so much more. Now, can you guess where we're headed in our next episode? Here, I'll give you some hints. This country is home to about 15 million people, when 48% are male and 52% are female. With nearly 4 million households, the people of this country have an average of about 4 people per household, and one of their main provinces is the capital city of Harare. Listen, if that didn't give it off, I don't know what will, but I'll give you a few more hints. This country has about 16 official languages. The main language is called Shona, spoken about 70% of the citizens. However, English is a common language. It's a trade language. It's used in business and government, as well as throughout the school system. That's right. We're headed to Zimbabwe. In 2021, Zimbabwe had a GDP of about 26 billion USD, 60% which, of which was from the tertiary sector, meaning activities from commerce to transport, financial to real estate, as well as personal services like education and health, as well as social work. Now, in 2020, they had an export value of about 4 billion USD and import value of about 5 billion. Major export destinations include South Africa, UAE, Belgium. Uh, export products included like precious semi uh, stones and precious metals, as well as tobacco, iron, steel, and sugars. Now, Major import partners include South Africa, Singapore, China, Mozambique, Zambia, UAE, as well as USA. Import products include like mineral fuels, um, machinery, uh, fertilizer, and other equipments. As you can see, there is so much to learn about Zimbabwe, and that's why I'm so excited to welcome our next guest from Zimbabwe, who's gonna give us a, a real personal immersive behind the scenes experience on what's going on on the ground in the marketplace to give us all an opportunity to figure out how we can impact locally and build globally. So make sure you turn on your notifications, follow me on social media, especially LinkedIn on YouTube, subscribe to my podcast on Apple and Amazon Music and Spotify, but most importantly, send your questions to questions at thedigitaldiplomat.com so we can answer them live. I'm W. E. Cruz. Thank you so much for joining me on this journey. Thank you for supporting the Digital Diplomat Podcast. But most importantly, let's continue to live at the level of our consciousness and never at the level of our circumstance. God bless you, and I'll see you next time.